Hey YouTube, here is part two of my video. Um, I made a second stop at the uh, church Remisau. After I did all my running, I still had a couple hours before they shut down for the day. So I went back and I'm glad I did. I picked up a few more things and this is just part of it, uh, what I've processed so far. Um, I picked up uh, a woman's large uh, Woolrich uh, yeah, sweater, sorry, uh, wool sweater. I can probably get about 25 or 30 out of that. Then we have this, this is a Harris Tweed. It's a vintage Harris Tweed uh, sport coat uh, made for Kuppenheimer. Um, it's got little issues in the sleeves here, some few tears here and there. Um, had it not been for that, um, I could probably get about $80 for this sport coat, but uh, like it is right now, I get about half that. So I'll get about $40 for that. Uh, then we have a another good item. I always pick up Brooks Brothers. I always do good with them. Uh, it's the 346 Brooks Brothers. Uh, this coat probably get me about, uh, and it's a really good condition. It's the two button um, sport coat. Um, it'll probably bring me about, uh, uh, about $35, $40. Uh, then we have a Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's a vintage. Um, 52 size, I think, 52L, no, 54L, I'm sorry, um, so it's a little bit large, um, but that could be a good thing, um, it's a vintage, probably get me about $50 for that, so, uh, and I paid $2 a piece for each of these, so $8, then we have about $25, we've got about $40, so it's $65, another $30, so that'd be $95, and probably about fifty dollars for this maybe more uh, so we're looking at about hundred and forty five dollars on an eight dollar investment here so um, not too shabby uh, to go with what I've already uh, got from the same uh, room itself so uh, stay tuned I'll be right back with the last part of this video to show you what else I picked up hey YouTube I'm back with the uh, the last uh, half of my video from my rummage sale haul today. So I'm just going to run through this what I picked up, the last of it. Um, as you can see, it's toys. <laughs> but um, I got this uh, Super Soaker. It's a 1997 Super Soaker XP110. And apparently they're rare uh, because when I looked it up on online, I could only find two on eBay. And they're selling for about $20 to $25. Um, and it's got like a little power gauge and you pump it up and you just soak the crap out of them but um paid 50 cents for that then we have a nerf uh rapid fire uh air pump uh dart gun uh, paid 50 cents for that those are going about 20 dollars 20 to 25 dollars um i got these five uh nerf and strike guns um basically 20 cents a piece and I paid a dollar for all of them together and it even come with a little dart so I was able to test it uh, but you got the Maverick Rev 6 you got this little bitty keychain one um, that's the SSAS1 that little one right there is going for about um, ten dollars these go anywhere between eight and twelve um, these are the reflex single shot in strike they all have the in strike logo um, those go anywhere between five and eight dollars by themselves and probably what i'll do is i'll just lot them all together with a bunch that i normally do but right now you know as it sits i could probably get about 35 dollars 40 dollars out of them just as it is but i usually build up a few and then then sell them all as a lot and get as you know based on what they're they're worth and then i have last but not least a pair of red wing wingtip shoes and you can tell when they are wingtip because of these right here they look like the bird wings um, my dad used to sell these uh, years and years ago I don't know how many he sold but he was always trying to sell them let's put it that way um, or no yeah he uh, he was always uh, talking about red red wing shoes and how good a quality they were um, and they are they're a nice quality shoe uh, probably get about 25 to 30 bucks once I clean them up and polish them up and make them look real nice. So, But uh, overall, I spent a total of $18 between the two stops at the same rummage sale. 
Um, like I said in my first video, I only had about 10 minutes to shop, so I went straight to the men's and women's clothing and grabbed a few things. So when I went back after finishing all my errands uh, that I was helping with uh, the, my trusty sidekick, Teresa, had to work. Uh, so I was doing some stuff for her, picking some stuff up for her for her place of work. And um, so after I delivered all that stuff, I said, I'm going back. I've still got an hour and a half left before they shut down for the day. So I'm going to go see what, what I could get. So as you can see, I did pretty good. Um, basically, uh, my profit margin after all said and done, when it all sells, would be about 400 to $450 on a $18 investment. So like I said, people, get out there and get to picking. You never know what you're going to find.